Hi, this is Wendy Schott with WaveMaker Software. I'm going to build an employee directory application to demonstrate how you too can build an Ajax CRUD application using our new Visual Ajax Studio 4.0 in less than five minutes using these five simple steps. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll launch the studio, create a new application, and be on our way. Step one, designing a page. Once you start a new project, you'll be brought into the designer. This is where you can drag and drop widgets off of the palette onto the designer to create your page. In this case, I'm going to use some predefined templates which are new in 4.0. I'm going to use a title bar, a two column template, and a footer. This will give us a good start on the layout of our application. Once the templates are on the page, I can change anything about them, move their components around, and reconfigure them. So here we'll change the title to Employee Directory, We'll grab a picture widget and put it into the space on the right, give the picture widget a source, and we can actually change the size of the picture. Over on the left, this is where I want the user to search by employee name or employee number. So I'll add two editor fields, which are text inputs. I'm going to change the name of the widget. The first one I'm going to name imp input employee number, give it a caption of employee number so the user knows what to input. The second editor widget, I'm going to change its name to input employee name, change its caption to employee name. Once the editors are on, I'm going to want a search button right under it. You notice that in the template I use, there is a toolbar with a bunch of buttons on it. I'm going to grab that bar, drag and drop it under my inputs. I can realign the buttons to the right. And in this case, in this application, I only want two buttons. The first one I'm going to call search, and the second one we're going to change later to a new button. Underneath my search button, I'm going to add a data grid component where I will show the results of my search. I can now resize the panel so that you can fully see the captions. And then over on the right hand side, I'm going to use our new live form widget, which is a very powerful widget, which will allow me to do full CRUD on any record that I feed into this form. Step two, importing the database. Once I have my page laid out, it's time to tell it what type of data I want to talk to. Under create, I'll see database import. I will be brought to a screen where I can provide all of the connection information to my database. I can test my connection and then import the actual database. Once imported, we will be able to see all of the live tables or representation of our data model, including primary keys and relationships. Step three, creating live views. Once my data is imported, now I can create a view of that data and any of its related data. So for example, we want to see the employee information. So we're going to create a new view called employee information view. I'm going to select the employee table. What this is going to allow me to do is not only select columns from the employee table, but any of its related tables as well. Here we'll select a few tables, the employee number, name, hire date, and the department name. Once I've selected the columns, I can preview the data in the database. The other interesting thing I can do is for each column, I can actually preset the caption I would like to show up on my page for that particular field. I can tell it which order I would like all of those fields to be placed in within that view. For example, the employee number, I'll have the first column, the employee name the second column, the hire date, let's move that to be the fourth column, and then the department name will have the third column. Once I've configured all of this in the view, you'll notice the preview at the bottom is going to reset to show me exactly what the data will look like on the page with the new column headers and the new order. Once I have the view done, it's time to bind it to a page. Step four, binding live views to a page. Once I've created my view, I'm gonna to return to the designer and start adding that view to the page. To do so, I need to create a live variable. This live variable is a single instance of my live view. So I'm going to name it employee info variable and tell it that its source data is the view that we just created, the employee info view. Once that's done, I can set the filters or the search criteria for that view. I'm going to do that based on the input fields that we added earlier. I can see here when I click on filter, I can tell it to filter by employee number by binding it to the em input employee number's data value that we added earlier. I'll do the same for the employee name field. I'll bind it to its data value. Once the bindings for the filter are done, I can tell the search button that when your on-click event is triggered, refresh that employee info variable. 
Once that variable is updated, I want to put the result set into the data grid. So I'm going to set the data grid's data set to the employee info variable. Now, the live form, when I select a record in the grid, I want it to populate the live form. So the live form's data set is going to be the data grid's selected value. The live form is a very smart widget that does full CRUD, new update delete, um, on a record. We'll move the new button and we're ready to run our application. Step five, running the application. Once the application is complete, hit the run icon at the top of the studio. A new browser window will open, your application will run, and without writing a single line of code, you have resizable panels, you have sortable grid columns, you have an application that allows you to search, you can actually click on a record from your search result, update that record. Notice that the department is a drop-down lookup for any related data. Save your record and the updates are automatically put back into your grid. And you did all of this without writing any code. So get started today with the WaveMaker Visual Ajax Studio 4.0. Download it at wavemaker.com download or join our community at dev.wavemaker.com. Thanks and have a great day.